Welcome and thanks for watching this video on how to reset your root control without losing animation and I'm going to show you four different ways of doing that. Uh, basically why would you want to do this? Um, maybe you have a run cycle where you want you have it uh, running in place and you want it running in space and the easiest way often to do that is to animate the root control uh, and then bake everything back down and reset that root control back to zero. In my case, uh, what I have here is I have a root control that's uh, offset uh, minus 25 degrees. Uh, so if it was at zero, it would be somewhere around here. And I did that because I wanted to showcase more of the character and I animated this actually to camera. Uh, it's not the greatest run cycle in the world, but it's in a good space that I would like to reset uh, this root motion or this root uh, offset right now. Basically, what we're talking about is the very, very basics of space switching. The first way that I want to demo on how to reset root motion without affecting your animation is the complete and total uh, manual way of doing it, all within Maya. This way is obviously free. It also takes the longest, <laughs> but I do think it's important that you do this uh, the first couple times at least, or, you know, whenever you need a refresher, just to understand what's going on under the hood, um, or actually why you're doing what you're doing before you start relying on uh, scripts and tools that can do this for you a lot faster. So basically what I need to do first is identify what are my controls on this rig in this animation that are IK. So in this case, it's going to be the two feet and the cog. You can see, you know, I'm moving this stuff around and everything is moving with it. Um, you might think that I might need the pole vectors as well, the knee pole vectors, but if you watch, if I rotate this uh, root motion, though the pole vectors aren't moving. So they're, they're unaffected by this right now. They're kind of outside of that space. So in this case, it is indeed the two feet and the cog. So the first thing I need to do is to go into the create menu, grab a locator. I'm gonna make that quite a bit bigger so that we can actually see it. And what I wanna do is I wanna match it to what I have going on here on the foot. So I'm going to grab the locator. I'm going to shift select the right foot here. I'm gonna go under the modify menu, match transformations. I'm actually gonna tear this off because we're gonna do this a few times. I'm gonna match the translation and I'm gonna match the rotation. So you can see now that is perfectly aligned. Uh, I'll go ahead and speed up the rest of it uh, so you don't have to watch me do this, but basically I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the uh, other foot and for the cog. So now what you see is I have these uh, locators here. They are set up to be the uh, right foot, the left foot, and the cog. Uh, probably a good idea to name those so you don't get confused. Uh, in this case, it's only three. I think we can keep track of that. So I think I'll be okay for now. Uh, now what I wanna do is I want to put the animation that's on these controls onto the locators. And so the first thing I want to do is I want to uh, have the controls uh, parented over the locator. So I'm going to first select the parent. I'm going to select the child. I'm going to go under the constraint menu. I'll tear this off as well. And I'll just pull open the options box just to make sure everything's reset. And it is. And I'm going to parent. So now this control is controlling that locator. Do the same thing for the rest. Parent, child, parent, parent, child, parent. And so now you can see each of these now has a parent constraint going on. The next thing that I wanna do is I wanna take those three locators. I wanna go under the edit menu. I wanna to go to keys and I wanna to go to bake simulation. I'll open the options just to make sure that the settings are reset. And I wanna bake those down. So what, is that, what does that do? That obviously that you can see now that uh, what I've done is I've taken the animation that's on those controllers and now it's placed onto the locators. And I can verify that by deleting the constraints. And I should be able to see those locators 
moving just as they were before. So we have the same animation going on on the foot as we do on the locator, the cog as the locator, and the other foot, etc. But the important difference being is now that animation on the locators is in world space. It's outside of this root control. So what we can do now is we can take the locators and reverse the constraints. Now I want the locator driving the control. So I'm going to select the locator as the parent, the control as the child, hit parent, locator, control, parent, locator, control, parent. So now everything's being driven by the locators, but the animation has not changed yet, right? So now I can grab what I have here on my root. If I bring up the graph editor and it was rotate Y was at 25 degrees. See if I can get this on here so we can see the graph editor and this at the same time, kind of have it falling off my other screen. So now if I take that and I zero it out. So now we're at zero. Get rid of the graph editor. And it should be exactly what I wanted before. I can pull up the camera screen, the actual shot screen. Looks exactly how it did before. But what I want to do here before I get too excited is I want to grab those controls and do the exact same thing we did with the locators, right? Now I want to bake those controls down because they're in a new space. So I'm going to go back to keys. I'm going to go to bake simulation. And now I should be able, because all that information is now transferred back to these controls, I should be able to delete the locators. And everything is exactly how we did it before. So again, looks exact and my rotation on Y on my root control is at zero. The second way that I want to show you how to reset root motion uh, without affecting the animation is another free way to do it. And this is to use, I'll pull up the, uh, pull up the web page. This is to use Morgan Lewis's World Space Bake script. Uh, I'll put the link in the description below. But basically what you want to do is uh, download and install this World Bake script. Any of these Morgan Loomis tools that you use uh, requires this ML utilities as well, so make sure you install that too. Uh, and then once you have it installed, uh, then you can just hit that. I have a shelf icon up here. If I hit that, it brings up this GUI here. And this is super cool. So. What I want to do now is essentially the same thing we did, except this is going to be a lot faster because it's going to do a lot of the things for us. Again, but we've already identified that the two feet and the cog are the controls that I need to worry about. So I'm going to select those. I'm going to be on this Bake to Locators tab, and I'm going to bake the selection to locators. And you can see what it did is it created three locators. They're there. They're, they're just probably super tiny. If I turned off the geo, you can see them. They're really tiny. They're there. And they're already constrained to uh, the motion, which is awesome. So now what I can do is I can take my root motion. If I bring up the graph editor again. You can see I've reset this, so I'm back to tw uh, minus 25. If I reset that, or if I set that to zero, which is what I want, and then we get rid of the graph editor. Well, you can see this has kind of messed things up. I think you can see it here because now I'm in profile over here, which is not what I want. But we haven't finished the operation yet. So now what I want to do is I want to select those locators that this script created. I want to go to the second tab, Bake From Locators, and click on Bake Selected Locators Back to Objects. Now when I do that, you can see it shifted it and it brought those controls right back to where they were before. Now I have that animation untouched. Uh, the script that created the locators also deleted the locators when it was done. And you can see now that my rotate Y on the root motion is now set to zero.
The third way that I want to show you on how to reset root motion without affecting your animation is using Animbot. Animbot is a paid tool, so that's up to you if you want to uh, invest in that kind of thing. But let's say you already have it or you're definitely looking at getting it. Um, what you can use is what we have down here is this tool right down there. I'm going to go ahead and tear off this menu. And it's using what they call XForm. Uh, essentially, it's operating the same kind of thing under the hood uh, using, like, I guess, temporary controls. Uh, I don't know if it actually uses locators. It probably uses temporary controls uh, to accomplish this. But it's done in much the same way. Uh, again, you can see I have my rotate Y set at minus 25 on the root, and I want to reset that. So again, what I would do is I would select my three IK controls, and here what I want to do is copy XForm world space playback range. And just to show you one more time in case I went through that too fast, uh, it's under this little globe looking icon and if I were to right click that it brings up this menu and if you just tap there you can kind of tear it off. So I've got those selected. I want to copy the XForm world space playback range. Now I want to uh, make the changes that I want to make the change to on my uh, root control. So I'll bring up the graph editor again, and I will make sure that that is set to zero. Close out the graph editor. And now what I want to do is select those controls again. And in this case, paste X form world space bake frames. And now what you can see and I'll bring up the camera just to verify. Everything is way, the way it was in terms of the animation. Animation is unaffected, yet the rotate Y on the root control is set to zero. The fourth way that I wanted to demo on resetting your root motion without affecting your animation is using a script called Overrig. I've got a little icon up here. If I click on this, it brings up this whole GUI over here on the left side. This is another paid tool. Uh, I'll put the link in the description below for all the things I talked about in this video, including this rig. This rig is awesome. All the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle rigs uh, are free over on the uh, Kyle Figgins site, and I'll put that link as well. Um, basically, this thing, this tool does a ton of stuff, much like Animbot does. Uh, so we're only going to see a very, very small part of it. And it's going to do very much the exact same thing that the free tool Morgan Loomis World Space Baker does, but it even automates it further. So the first thing I'm going to do, like we've done before, is select my IK controls. I guess before I do that, I'll select this root control so that you can see the root control is indeed rotated at minus 25, and I want to set that to zero eventually. So I'm going to select the two feet, the cog, and I'm going to hit this button called not. And essentially what that does is it does everything that Morgan Loomis did, except it also reverses the constraints. So now it created a locator on each one of these controls. It grabbed the animation from those controls and then reverse the constraints. So you can see I've got the three locators down there and if I grab the locator it's the locator driving the control not the control driving the locator. So all that work is already done with one click of a button. So all those things are set there. Now I can feel free to set my rotate uh, Y to zero. So we'll bring up uh, we'll bring this up, we'll select the root, and we'll set that to zero. And now that's at zero. And now I can take these controls, and I can either go through the uh, Maya menu or there is a bake function right within this GUI. And this bake function is actually even faster uh, than the Maya bake. Uh, so I prefer to use that if I have that open. And now I can get rid of these locators. And if I pull this up here, the animation is unaffected. 
and my root rot y is set to zero. I hope this video was helpful in some way. Uh, if you did find it helpful or informative, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and take care.